Hey folks, it's Steve Pixelface here, and I recently took part in the Wanna Yam Game Jam 2022, which is a nine day jam hosted by Wannabe Manisha and Sam Yam. The day of the jam, I tuned into the announcement video on YouTube, and the theme was Combination. With the theme fresh in my head, I immediately turned off the computer and celebrated my birthday with some friends. <laughs> Another year older and none the wiser, with day one awash I started day two by opening up Google Docs to do some brainstorming. After coming up with some ideas I settled on a top down dungeon crawler about combining souls to summon a demon titled Puka Needs Souls. I wanted the game to have a streak of darkness but also feel quite goofy, with a focus on precision movement when avoiding obstacles in the player's way. You play as the last minion to the demon Puka named Doug. Dug on his way to resurrect Puka with harvested souls, trips and scatters all the souls. With the resurrection time close, Doug must quickly combine all the souls to resurrect Puka while avoiding traps, creatures and solving puzzles. With a clear vision of the game in my head, I wanted the combined soul game mechanic implemented before my first day of dev was done. So I opened Photoshop and created the artwork for Doug, the dungeon tile map and souls. In my game engine of choice, Godot, I implemented movement, basic animation, collisions, the world tile map, souls, and the picking up and combining of souls. I also added a lot of code plumbing for the music, death and respawn, a resurrection timer that would cause a game over if the souls aren't combined in time, and screen transitions. Overall, a solid day of progress. The next day I wanted to focus on design. Even with the jam being nine days, with a full-time software engineering job and other responsibilities, I wanted to make sure my limited time was not wasted. I created a sketch of the dungeon map with all the souls, traps, creatures and puzzle rooms. At this point I decided to cut a lot of the content to make the game play better as a jam game. I cut the souls the player has to collect from 16 to 8. With less souls the dungeon can now be smaller. I removed the resurrection timer so there's no longer a proper fail condition. The player is free to tackle all the rooms without any fear of having to start from the beginning again. I changed the player's death functionality. Originally they would drop any soul they were holding. I cut all this hopefully to make the game a much smoother experience for people doing the ratings. A shorter, more forgiving experience in a game jam will likely do better than a longer, more difficult and potentially bloated game. The remaining weekday evenings was spent. Adding Puka's altar to the start area, this is where the player will use the combined souls to complete the game. Adding saw blades that just follow a predetermined path using Path Follow 2D. Spikes that use Godot's animation player to animate and call a function that enables and disables the hitbox collision. Spiders which simply wait for a period of time then randomly move to a spot within their movement area. Fully implementing the death and respawn drop soul functionality, added music. I also took a full day off midweek to make sure my engineering job didn't suffer. The weekend ended up being super busy for me. I had hoped I would be able to really make the game shine, but being an adult got in the way. I did make some small bits of progress, but before I knew it, it was Sunday evening, the night before the submission. I actually considered not submitting and just finishing the game on my own time. I did have work in the morning as well and the game felt like it needed quite a bit of time to get into a state that I would be happy submitting. So I took a power nap, filled myself full of caffeine and stayed up all night doing improving blood particle effects and adding a splatter sound underneath Doug's death scream. A walk animation for Doug. Finished the dungeon, I did have to scrap a puzzle room which was replaced with a combination of spikes and saw blades. Souls now have different colours when you combine them. Adding some sound effects around combining souls. Main menu with menu music. Intro cutscene. How to play scene. Implemented a win condition. End cutscene. That's just the highlights. There was also bug fixing, pixel art, refactoring tiny bit of playtesting and whatever else I could manage to add some polish. It was now daylight, I had to start work. Thankfully I worked remotely so I was able to create an itch page and submit the game during my lunch break, a few hours before the submission deadline. I'm pretty happy with how the game turned out and I had a lot of fun working on it even with the crazy all-nighter. 
something that I would actually like to go back to in the not so distant future to add the missing polish, rework some of the mechanics and just expand the game a bit more. That's it for this devlog. Big thank you to one of you, Manisha and Samyam for hosting the jam and everyone who played, rated, streamed and submitted a game. Links to everything mentioned down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.